You're welcome back to the Teju Babyface Show, brought to you by Promacido, the makers of such products as Top Tea, Loya Milk, Cowbell Milk, Hunger Seasoning, and so much more. Now on the Teju Babyface Show, we're very excited today, as every day, because we bring you nothing but the kings. You should know that by now. When I bring them, they are the kings. If you grew up when I grew up, if you started chasing women when I chased, sorry, when they chased them, if men chased you when they were chased, if you were a groovy Nigerian, then you know the legends of music. This gentleman, this bros, this uncle, this father is one of the progenitors of reggae music in Nigeria. World famous from the East Coast to the West Coast, the Niger Delta to South Africa, Johannesburg, Jamaica, the home of reggae. They know him and they concede and respect reggae. Please make some noise for the one, the only, Mr. Raski Momo! Yeah, man. The nice to see you, everyone. It's going to be good. You know, when I did this show a couple of years back, the other man said, some of you still probably sucking breast. But now, on the way, the other one said, oh, just see them coming, see them lying. Political fusion, oh, just see them looting, police are shooting. Innocent people, what a pity now we sit in What a pity now we Me bad They bring a conscience of humility Me no one okay They bring a conscience of humility Me no one okay Mass unemployment they everywhere On the front of just from in the street This one is full of shit mm, What a smelly shit They bring a conscience of humility Flying from the sky, while I am I walk on the land. See them walk tired at my day, cause of fire my journey. I'm a little chick of a bit. You know I'm okay. I'm a little chick of a bit. You know I'm okay. Oh, we, oh, we, we know I'm okay.
best party band in the house is Toyozi and Jazzy T. Make noise for them again, people. Backing up the legendary Mr. Raskimono, who is still in the house. Baba, Pua! Pua! Give Baba three Pua! 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 It's too much. It's so good to see you. Yes, sir. A fantastic performance. A fa absolutely wonderful. It's, I mean, I haven't seen you in years, bros. Well, 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 I'm not around for coming for a little while, but now I'll be back. I bet, talk English. <laughs> what, what does that mean now? Ah, well, I wish I'd be here, fried rice jar, last time. Well, ah. yeah. uh, Rasmussen is not educated, I mean, not illiterate. So, I, mean, I deal with tough speaking, and in Papua, you can call it tough speech, and Nigerian broken English, okay. uh, Ghana pigeon, Sri Lankan Creole. Jamaica, yeah, part one, so as pure yeah. So, why, why, why? Why would I be lying? Why would I lie? You didn't hear what he said. I saw one woman there. She laughed, ah! And she turned to somebody, Jockey Lusono. <laughs> why would I lie? Me, I didn't hear. Bros, uh, let's uh, do the normal <laughs> English when we do the talk. So, what happened? I mean, I, I, it's just a question I've wanted to ask you. It was Raskimono all the way. There was a time in Nigeria when you were the biggest. You were the best. There was no doing anything without Raskimono. And then one day I woke up and they said Raskimono was out of the country. What happened that period? Well, sometimes when ovation is so loud, you got to step outside and, you know, I truly, really step outside and go for it and try to reach for it and, you know, work myself and ask myself big question. Is it what I want to do until the end of time? But at the same time, going to foreign, sometimes it helps one psychic and helps your mental disorder to get order. Oh, nice. You know, so that's... <laughs> yeah. wait, 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 you think, wait, sometimes when you're in a place and you think you're ordered in your own place and try to become the big fish in a little ocean. Sometimes go further because the further you go in life, the better for the eyes still, you know. Well, that's so, cool. so I mean, go further and go and check what go in foreign land and see, can I deal with the pressure? Can I compete with the people? Can I deal with this music? And at the same time, rejuvenate it and recreate it, and you know. So that's that's why I really rough the cover for a while and try to rediscover myself. And I think it did pay off still, you know. Okay, cool. So where did you go? What, what overseas place did you go? Well, I was in America, too. I was traveling shortly Europe and America until 2004. I just stuck in America. Okay, so how, how was that in America? How was, it, was it cool? Well, it was cool in the sense that I got more experience in life and... And, and more stomach, too, but... Exactly. That one the side, but you know what I mean? Because, because, you but it wasn't burger, though. It wasn't burger? No, man, it's not burger. Because I'm not eating burger. I'm a vegetarian, man. So I'm not eating them all the yum yum blood sucking on vampire. Emma, <laughs> 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 oh, but, but can you still do that dance uh, you used to do? The one I was trying to do there now. The way, can you still do that dance you used to do? You know, that one where you used to you know, go like. Nothing get jail. Yeah, man, that's the simplest dance. Come on. Someone, someone that asked me, hey, can I still jump and prance the way me used to? And that's the hard one. Me do it every time. And that one, where you dance now, is soft ice cream dance dance. Okay. Um, you, want to, you want to prove us wrong? Because I don't believe. You don't believe? Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, the tune with them play is not a tune for that. But guess what? Play me the tune. Play the same, same rhythm. I mean, I'm going Yeah. But the dance you talk about this. Well, I, I guess once you learn to ride a bike, you never forget how. You know never forget how. Okay, very, very cool. So, uh, this is what I want to ask you seriously. They say that in reggae music, that reggae musicians are very spiritual. And spiritual is not always the praying kind. That no matter how late they get to a show, no matter what time, they have to go backstage 
and light something. <laughs> if you understand. <laughs> Uh, before the spirit comes, is that true? Do you take any substance? Yeah, since I was born, to those who never heard it before, you hear it for the first time, since I was born, I never smoked cigarettes, I never smoked ganja, Igbo, weed. Um, I, don't, I don't drink alcohol, I don't drink no beer, so I don't think it's beer that make my tummy come out. I don't eat meat. I'm a vegetarian for 30 years. What? You haven't eaten meat in 30 years? Yeah, ma'am. I'm a vegetarian. So my tummy coming in, and where I'm looking is good living. <laughs> me don't me da, me da, me da pressure myself. I'm not trying to build castle in the moon. I don't try to jive what I cannot afford. I know a lot of people, society sometimes push you to certain things that you don't want to do. A lot of you, them, good. But due to Mr. Paul, Javin, Homer, and Mr. John want to ride BMW, and they start digging them hand in a nasty thing. You see, when me I sleep as a raster man, me sleep with my two eyes closed. Me don't have one open. Come me not, me not, me not worry, me not worry. And that true raster man, every raster man live a simple life, we don't worry. We talk of today, today exists. When we wake up tomorrow morning, we give thanks to the Most High Jah. And, you know? Nice. And, and, and coming, back, coming back to the ganja smoking. No, not every raster man, not every reggae musician smokes weed. I keep telling you, them. Nowadays, I found out, I came back, I found out that a whole lot of youth now who play hip hop and Afro hip hop, most of them drink to stupor, smoke to stupor, and I tell you, I say, hey, come on, boy. If Michael Jackson, number one musician in the world, can do it without smoke or drink, you can do it. If Rasmona can do it, you can do it. Hey, Bon Jovi, rock artist. Everybody think every rock artist smoke and sniff, and Bon Jovi don't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't sniff. So it's not true that every Rasta man or reggae musician smoke something. I got a lot of them. <laughs> In Jamaica, like my region, Muta Baruka, who taught the whole world, Muta Baruka never smoke. And it doesn't even drink either. So, Raskimono, don't do that. He don't do that. <laughs> no, I'll do that. OK. OK, so I want to know, uh, when was the last time you cut your hair? I can't remember Rasta. Uh, over a long time. A long time. Why? Was it? I heard that uh, the Rastafarians, uh, the, the original ones from Jamaica, that what they did was to take a vow of some sort to Haile Selassie or something. Well, no. If you check the book of life, which is Bible, that I, and I deal with, yeah. the numbers, the number six says, leave the hair of your hair to grow locks and long. No scissor shall come upon it. Yeah, you take a vow. And back, back in the days, a lot of man them take a vow, but nowadays no we no take no vow, no rich, no rights. It just do because what them say, when Jesus Christ came, cleans every vow thing and say, eh, me come to clean the earth. And that's why he say, Nyam up everything. Now see somebody, a lot of you know, eating vulture, eating mad cow disease and eating all the flu, bed flu, you know. Yeah, back in the days. In Leviticus, there's a certain meat, you're not supposed to jam. Yeah. Right? But Jesus Christ came and said, every living thing is good for your own consumption. But so, when I see some man, them say, and some people fight Calabama for eating dog. Where is this dog? I said, oh, no, crazy? What's the problem with you? Dog, Jesus Christ came already and cleans it and said, we couldn't jam everything. What, so, is what, what is yam? Which one is yam? Yam it and eat it. Yam, yam it. <laughs> yam it. <laughs> Okay, so personally, personally, why do you keep your own your own lock? Sorry, I, I was almost going to say home. Kilo day. Well, me, I'm a raster man, and a raster man from the Bible and deal with the truth and right. As a black man, and raster is more of life and culture. It's not a religion. If a black man leave your hair combed for a couple of months, it tangles and grows like a tree in the bush. So I saw a black, every black man and. Now Rasta coming to be a Rasta. Why you are Rasta? Because Emperor Halas the king of Ethiopia, his name was 
Rastafari, before I was crowned King of Kings, 1930, as the Emperor of Ethiopia. And a lot of men them don't really know much about as a prayer majesty. A lot of you know they don't know about Zik of Africa. A lot of you know they don't know about Kwame Nkrumah or Jomo Kenyatta. And this man them come together and say, hey, we have to form OAU, Organization of African Unity. So Selassie and Rasta now is because Selassie is 225 descendant from King Solomon. Mm. And I would like mm. to wish mm. that. You read all these things? Well, if you, if you, as a Rasta man, you have to read. I, I, I'm not educated, but I'm not illiterate still. Uh, and I deal with it. <laughs> and I deal with And I deal more of prophecy, book of life, and history. Read a lot of books. I don't read about Hadley J, Chase or them college. James Hadley Chase. Shh. Daniel I, don't, I, don't, I don't read about Christopher Jack Columbus. Because other man there, they are pure for great man, liars and you know, Mongo Park, they are pure liar. Merciless to them. How can how can how can Christopher Columbus come tell people who live in Jamaica that he discover he discovered Jamaica. How come Mongo Park come and tell people who live in Niger that they he, he discovered River Niger? How come Mary Slessor come tell me, say, yeah, because now him called to circle down in Calabar and eat a lot of fresh food and to not grow big and come tell me, say, I'm change certain system in Calabar. It's a pure frost food, you know? So, but I and I as a Rastaman, as a Chuban African, try to read more of book and educative book that most of our youth no, don't read. So every Rastaman, don't think I'm brilliant or intelligent. No, nah, man. Uh, <laughs> nah, nah. How are you think? When you miss a, when you miss a Rastaman there who live up the hill, either in Ghana or in Jamaica, trust me, you can't touch them with any question in this world. Okay, can I, can, I, can I touch you? I want to go. Can I touch your hair? Yeah, man. I want to see how long it is, it's not the longest one. <laughs> oh God, I, I promise you. I promise you, people, it is alive. I can feel it breathing. So, what will happen for you to cut your hair? Well, I don't intend. Some, some press woman asked me a couple of buzz back. You will get one million dollar to cut your hair. I said no. If you give me one million dollar today on your program yes. to cut my hair, we now go cut it rasta. You feel me? But you know what? Yeah. Devil is a crook. Yes. If I cut my hair with one million dollars, you give it to me. And I step out of your studio and I get knocked down by a car. And they rush me to Bobby Hospital. From Bobby down to London. And one million dollars. And my hair gone. <laughs> <laughs> so so for that, so for that, for that, I sold my soul to the devil. Okay. So how do you condition your hair? Does water get to the bottom of your hair? Do you bathe? When you bathe, how? Yes, I am. Wow. It's as free as yours. I wash it every time. The Bible says, cleanliness is little jolliness. Yes. Not godliness. <laughs> jolliness. <laughs> what translation that is, I don't know. So, I have to look for this. <laughs> so if you're a Rasta man, you must keep yourself clean. I keep telling the whole about you then women. I go to beach, this beach, that beach, and I see some rasta man smoke weed and look dirty and say, hey yeah boy, come here, sir. If me look this way and smell him, boy, a lot of man they'll be running away from me. Yeah. So except you're not rasta, but nowadays a whole heap of them are not rasta, they are not dread. Okay, I know one like that. His name was Jaffet. Her dreads was full of lies. <laughs> we had to cut the hair. Very yeah. terrible kind of something. Some of them are naughty dread, not naughty dread, naughty. Naughty dread. Yeah, man. Okay, okay, so now, uh, be before I let you go, like a final question. You were one of the biggest hit makers. You came here to rehearse. When he was here, before you saw him, he came here to rehearse with uh, the Jazzy T band. He played the bass guitar. He played the drums. He was going to play the saxophone. Apparently, you play the keyboards. How many instruments do you play? Uh, I play the bass, I play the drum, I play guitar, I play sax. Well, basically, I touch everything. As a, as a musician, it's good to have a little idea. But these boys these days don't seem to know. Yeah, but, but that's why by their, by their fruit we shall know them. So the Bible says, yeah. I keep, it's not, 
Mo, what I find out now is that most youth now jump in our music because of the money, not for the love or passion for the music. And give them under five, ten years, they were fed up. And they fed up, who oh, know who are, who are the artists from the Okay, if I, ask you, if I ask you to take one draft pick, one young man that you can see these days that you think will go the distance, a young man that you think these days, or a young woman that you think in 15 years will still be hearing about them, who would you say? Well, I don't want to be too partial because, look, I don't want to be too partial. I have somebody, a uh, couple, couple in my mind, but I don't want to be too partial. Yeah. Like, okay, let me tell you. Yeah. Two Face. Two Baba! Two Face! Do, 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 you know, do, you know, do you know why I said Two Face? Do you know why I said Two Face? A couple of weeks back, they did a show, and some man come, asked me, Two Face, what do you think? I said, Two Face, I don't think nothing. It's not. It's not a flash in a pan. It's not by coincidence or accident that he's doing or is going through what he's going through or what he is now. He come a long way. Two verses is old school. It's not a new school. Because me know, say, back in the days, two verses with the group, they travel from Cape to Cairo, to Buktu, to Egypt, trying to make ends meet. So a youth who come all the way from that struggle to this time, it's not coincidence. It's hard work. It's hard work. Okay. And I know, I know still that with that and with his humility, it's going to go far. Okay. I don't know much about the rest of our artism, mm -hmm. but I know that Two Face has come a long way. Two so Face, you heard that? Yeah. All right. Uh, before I let you go, sir, uh, I'd like to hear you say this in, in like, what do you call it? Rastafarian in um what's what's it called actually? Pat Patwa. Okay, I like the way you say Patwa. My, my name is Raskimono and reggae music is very much alive. Well, in case you don't know, this is your dub master. My name Raskimono and reggae music live and live and direct. It can't touch it. I'll take kimono die, reggae will die. But as long as I live, kimono live it every time. Reggae music live it every time. That's what we say. Yes, kimono style is different, different from, from the rest. <laughs> you, must, <laughs> you must, you must not like that tune. Yeah, yeah, because I, I mean, I used to listen to it a lot. So. Yeah, what I'm saying? Kimono style is different from the rest. Why? Come me no love a woman with a plenty man. Me love a woman with a lot of respect. Me vegetarian, me no like no meat. Me no smoke ganja, but me love the aroma. Me favorite color, that's a yellow and green. Right back, everybody. Stay with us. Love, love, love.